In this video, I have um, some information, sort of fake information, uh, that would potentially be a course syllabus. And I'm going to start to set it up to be an accessible document. The first thing that I will do is add some information and then modify that information using styles. So this video is, is mainly going to be about using styles. Styles allows you to format your information both visually, um, so in other words, make a title look like a title, make a headline look like a headline, and so forth, and it will also help you to, to style your information or code your information so that on the back end, the computer knows what it is that you're trying to do with, with this um, document full of information. So for instance, in this document, the first line would be my title. Now you would, you might be um, used to just using some of your formatting keys over here, like making it bold or changing the size of the text and so forth. Um, but instead of using any of these uh, formatting areas, the font area, um, what I will do instead is go and look in my styles. Notice that right now all of my information on the page is typed in the normal format. So I'm starting with just um, basically, I mean, I don't want to say unstyled information, but I'm, st I'm starting with a list of information and everything is set right now to normal. Normal is like your kind of typical body copy on the page. So I'll take this area, which I intend to be the title of the page, and I will apply the, the title called, I'm sorry, the style called title. Now I may not want the title to look like this, but on the back end, this document now knows that the text COM317 Digital Foundations is the title of the document. If I want to modify the title, I can click, I can right click right on that title style and choose modify. And here I can use all of my formatting. So all of the stuff that you typically might use here you're just going to use all of that instead inside the Modify Style panel. So you could change the font, for instance, uh, the font face or the typeface, or the type size, or the color, or any of the other um, formatting issues, design issues that you might want to change. Um, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't really care in this situation about um, making a whole lot of changes because this is not my real syllabus. Um, but just to show uh, some some change, so it's really kind of obvious what's going on. I'll do this and I'll go ahead and just change the color of my type. Okay. Now this um, title area by default comes with an, an underline that extends across the entire page. If I wanted to eliminate that underline, change the color of that underline, um, again, I would have to modify my style. So I can always right click and modify that style. So I'm never committed to what the style looks like, um, but I do want to use styles to, to inform the information in my document. So in this case, if I wanted to deal with that underline, I would go to the formatting menu down in the bottom left of the panel, and that underline is actually set up with the border. So I could change the border color, for instance, to black to match my text. And then I would just kind of take it off and put it back on again, which is this button here. I could have borders all the way around or just on the bottom, just on the top, left or right sides. Okay, I'll press OK. Now you might have, beneath your title, you might have separate categories of information. So you might have your instructor information and that would be a level one heading. And you might have, so you have some information under there, and then you might have your course information, and that'll also be a level one heading. Right, and so you would go through your document and any place where you have a new, um, you know, new set of, of information or, or headings, you'll go ahead and apply that heading style. You might have you know, two levels of heading, like maybe under course information you separate um, two different areas of that. So maybe you have a heading two to separate those those areas. In a typical syllabus, you probably only need a title and a level one heading, maybe a level two heading. Once you have 
your heading set on the page, again, you can modify those styles. So, and you don't have to select them or click into them at all. Um, it might be helpful if you click on one of them just to remind yourself of what style you've used. Um, but when you, when you modify a style, that style is going to change in every instance of the use of that style on the page. So you can see that I've got um, instructor information and course information set up both as a level one heading. I'm going to right click on heading one here and modify. And again, um, maybe change something. I'll, I'll set it to, um, I'll just use regular Arial, and I'm not a huge fan of, of Arial in general, but it's at the top of the list right now, so I'll go for it. And uh, choose again, maybe some kind of color. Okay, let's see what this looks like on the page. You might notice when you um, when you add a heading a lot of times, and, and really this is just a Microsoft Word formatting deal, um, headings usually come with a little extra space, a little padding. Um, so there's a little extra space here between my content here and where this heading starts. In a lot of situations that works out just fine, but sometimes you may want to change that. So again, I'll right click on that heading one and modify the style. And I'll take a look again inside that formatting palette. So um, just, just a reminder, this, this panel has a lot of possibilities and potential to it, um, and a lot of those potentials are in this formatting list. So in here, if you look inside the paragraph area, um, notice my level one heading has a before spacing of 24 points. Um, let's cancel out of this just for a second. My type is set at 14 points, so that gives you an idea 24 points is, is kind of a lot of space. So if I wanted to reduce the amount of space or, or increase it, I would go to that paragraph area and I could change the amount of space um, that is set there. So I might change that just to 18 points, just something so we can see a change. And you'll notice everything shifted up just a little bit. You could also um, work in your format area and go to the font side. That will be a more detailed kind of font list. For instance, you could set everything in all caps. Um, and so you could make some changes there. Um, none of this is uh, necessarily essential. It's not essential that you know every possible option in the formatting panel, but in terms of you creating a document that reflects your, it reflects or expresses your um, kind of identity and the identity of the course, it's good for you to know how to make those kinds of changes. So the first task is basically making sure that you've got a title on the page and your headings on the page and that those elements are set using styles. Every bit of body copy should just be set in the normal style. Um, and again, you could modify the normal style. So I could right click on normal and modify that. Right? I don't have to use whatever the, the default is. I could change my, um, my font there. And notice now all of, you know, the all of my type and every place where it's normal has also changed. It's fine if every once in a while you may want to make something bold or italics. That's fine. You can select one word and press the B button. Um, but if you're, you know, if you, you want to use those buttons in a sort of limited capacity, if it's, it's something big like a heading, you want to use your styles. Once you feel like you've got a handle on styles, then you could move on to a couple of other issues like adding web links, um, adding tags to your alt tags to your images, and adding uh, properties uh, captions and alt tags to your tables. And I'll demonstrate those in another video.